Okay, we're working on part two of exponential and logarithmic equations. We have an example of word problems and then a few more solving equations. So focus, word problems, you guys can do it. It's not that bad. Um, let's look at it. So here's our example. Suppose a bacteria culture doubles in size for every hour. We know that when something doubles in size, we um, get my pen out do 2 to the n. That's the, when something doubles in size. So n is your hour. Okay, we can actually make it h if you'd like. 2 to the h. Um, how many hours will it take for the number of bacteria to exceed 1 million? So that's our equation. A bacteria culture doubles in size every hour. So, um, that's 2 to the h, and then we need to know how many hours, h, the number of bacteria exceeds 1 million. Okay, 1 million, uh, sort of hard to work with. We're doing logarithms and exponents right now, so let's go ahead and change that. 2 to the h greater than 10 to the 6. 10 to the 6 and 1 million are equal. Okay, still not sure what to do, but we did just learn that we can take the log of both sides of the equation. So I can take the log of 2 to the h is greater than the log of 10 to the 6. Okay, this left side simplifies to h log 2. Remember that's base 10. This right side, I have log base 10. There's a little 10 right there of 10 to the 6. That's just plain old 6. That's that one of that super easy ones that when this number and this number are equal, your answer is that. Okay, but we do need to work a little bit harder for the left side. I'm going to divide both sides by log of 2. I'm going to actually get my calculator out and do 6 divide by log of 2. So h greater than 19.93, that's hours. So you can actually simplify it if you like. Your hours has to be greater than 20. Okay, but hold on a second. I want to double check that this makes sense. So what we're going to do is plug in 20. Okay, 2 to the 20. What is 2 raised to the 20 power? 2 raised to the 20 equals, get some commas in there. Is that bigger than a million? Yes. So 20 is a correct answer. Okay, why don't you try one? You receive one penny on the first day and then triple that on the second day and so on for a month. On what day would you receive at least a million dollars? So what should our equation be? Why don't you go ahead and push pause and try to get it on your own? Um, well, no. Let's, let's talk through it, and then you can actually solve it. All right. So one million dollars. How many pennies? is that, if you remember, one dollar is a hundred pennies. So one million dollars, I need some more zeros. One million times one hundred equals a hundred million pennies. Okay. Got that side. Now this side. Okay, let's talk about this. On day one, you get one penny, which is actually three to the zero, right? Because we're doing three cents a piece. On day two, you get three cents, three pennies, which is really three to the one, and so on. On day three, you get triple that, which is nine pennies, which is three to the third power. Oh, I'm so sorry. Duh. Three squared. 
On the fourth day, you would get triple that, 9 times 3, which is 3 to the third power. You're trying to get a pattern here. On the fifth day, triple that, which is 3 to the fourth power. Okay, what we're getting here, uh, this right here, we're actually coming up with our equation. This is your day, which we're going to say is D for day. So your equation is going to be 3 to the D minus 1. If your D is 5, your exponent is 4, that's actually 5 minus 1. So, on what day would you receive at least a million dollars? Greater than 10 raised to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8th power. I'm going to transfer this to the next page. 3 to the d minus 1 greater than 10 to the 8th. Now push pause and finish it on your own. All right, it's solved. Day 18, you um, would get over a million dollars. So, um, day 18, you would get that many pennies, which is approximately that many dollars. Pretty cool. 18 days. Awesome. Okay, let's move into just some logarithmic equations. Logarithm equation, equation with logarithm expression that contains a variable. You can solve logarithm equations by using the properties of logarithms, everything we've learned. Um, log base b of x, log base b of y. If these are the same, then x equals y. Okay, we did a lot of these. You can review them in 7.4. That was um, like five examples, all a different type. All right, let's go ahead and try to solve these. Okay, not sure what to do here, but we did learn something that if we take, oops, need a pen, raise everything into an exponent, I'm just going to use 6 because I have a base 6 of 2x minus 1 is equal to 6 to the negative 1. I can actually um, do some cool stuff here. So remember, if this and this are equal, your answer is that. So I get 2x minus 1 equals 6 to the negative 1. You guys know that's 1 sixth. Now I just want to do some algebra. Add 1 to both sides. 1 sixth plus 1. Okay. Divide both sides by 2, and I get x equals 7 twelfths. So really, once you can figure out that step, pretty easy. I wasn't sure what to do, but I did remember the rule that if this and this number are the same, this is my answer. And that's pretty simple. Let's try another. Okay, log base 4 of 100 minus log base 4 of x plus 1 equals 1. All right, I've got the same base and a subtraction. Now I remember that gives me log base 4 of 100 over x plus 1 equals 1. Yikes, I don't know what to do with that. I have a variable in the denominator. But I do remember, just like the last example, if I raise it, log base 4, 100 over x plus 1 equals 4 to the 1. These two things match. That's my answer. 100 over x plus 1 equals 4. Multiply both sides by x plus 1. And I'm left with, we're running out of space, 100 equals 4x plus 4. Solve for x. Subtract 4 from both sides. 96 equals 4x. I just subtracted 4. Divide both sides by 4. I get x equals 
24. Okay, I think this was the hardest part to remember. Okay, this we got, but I didn't know what to do once I had a variable in the denominator. But then we remember if we raise both sides um, into the exponent with the same base as the log, we can solve it. Try another one. Log base 5 of x to the 4th equals 8. Okay, not sure what to do, so let's go ahead and start messing with some numbers. Um, that exponential rule. Okay, got that. Now what do we do? How about changing it from logarithmic form to exponential form? After, we have to get rid of that 4 before we do that, because I can't just... So I have log base 5 of x equals 2. Yeah, that'll work. So I take the logarithmic form, log base b of x equals a, b to the a equals x. So I take 5 to the 2 equals x. x equals 25. Easy. Another one. Oh, same base. In addition. So I get log base 12 of x times x plus 1 equals 1. Log base 12 of x squared plus x equals 1. Hmm. Yep, whenever I get stuck, I'm just going to raise them both to that power because it really seems to work a lot. Same base. Oh, there's an x. Sorry. I get x squared plus x equals 12. Not done yet. I think I'm going to need another page. Okay, hold on. This is crazy. We now have a quadratic equation. You guys think you can get away from everything we've learned in the past? It's not possible. All right, ACB. Nope, you haven't lost it. Um, A times C, B. I get negative 3 times 4 divided by factors of A. This gives me x plus 4, x minus 3, x equals negative 4, x equals 3. Um, guaranteed that your negative will never work. So there is our answer, x equals 3. That was a lot of work. Okay, you try. Push pause, please. Cool. I rewrote it. <laughs> I like the log is on the left. So you don't have to do that. First I pulled that up and made it an exponent again. So I got x cubed. When you have addition with the same base, they're both log 10. You multiply them. There they are multiplied. Base 10, this is logarithmic to exponential form. Base 10 to the 3 equals 8x cubed. 1,000, 10 to the 3 is 1,000. Divide both sides by 8. And we get our answer. You try another one. Okay, there we go. Again, I brought that up to the exponent spot. Subtraction means division. Once I got to this spot where everything is divided, I wasn't sure what to do. Whenever I'm not sure what to do, I take 10 raised log base 10 of this equals 10 to the 0. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1. Um, so x squared over 4 equals 1, multiplied both sides by 4. Got an answer. All done.